Hey guys, I wanted to make this quick video to talk about the uh, Ripple and IMF. And if you recall, we've been talking about this for the past month or so, where I absolutely believe Ripple is working very closely with the IMF. And someone posted this on the Ripple Reddit or Ripple subreddit, I should say, where if you go to IMF.org, you do a search for Ripple within their internal site search here, it comes back with a lot of interesting results. The most interesting here um, I want to call out is from December 5th, 2018, earlier this month. It's a presentation by Sagar Sarbai of Ripple, and it's dated, the actual document is dated November 13th, 2018. So this is a very, very recent uh, document presentation that was most likely presented to the folks at the IMF. Now, the reason why we've been talking about Ripple and IMF is because Brad Garlinghouse and, and one of the guys from the IMF, Ross Lacau, shared the stage at the Singapore FinTech Festival. And if you saw that video, their body language, they, the way they were communicating, they are obviously working on something here. And it's no, comes to no, a, a no surprise because Ripple's Sagar Sarbai himself had said on video that they are working with 40 to 50 central banks around the world. Who does the IMF work with central banks and different countries and so forth? This is very big. So something is brewing behind the scenes here. I absolutely think uh, Ripple and the IMF is working on something. Can I tell you at what? I don't know, but we can speculate a bit, make some educated guesses. Now, um, I'll put a link to this um, down below so you guys can take a look at it. You can download this presentation. I went ahead and did. Um, they may pull it down if uh, you know if, if a lot of people hit hit the website and start downloading it but I'll give you guys a preview here of, of what's in this presentation so uh, the title of the presentation is transforming global payments enabling the internet of value so I think this was most likely presented uh, by Sagar Sabai um, or presented uh, by him to the IMF um, and you know, they go into our vision, the Internet of Value, enable the world to move money like information moves today. And they give an overview of X Current and X Rapid, saying they're both live. Um, and they go into how X Current works um, as far as the process and, and, and the, the solution to the existing problems that X Current provides. Now, um, just some things to call out here. RippleNet Advisory Board and Rulebook. They highlight Stern Standard Charter, we know, is a, pro, uh, is a partner. Westpac, Santander, RBC, Bank of America, MUFG. All of these banks are known partners. Um, and they're also part of the advisory board. Of course, Ripple will want them as advisors because these are major players in, in, in different markets. So this is really... Big and they have some case studies here uh, where they talk about SBI remit and, and uh, CM Commercial Bank. Um, and wait, let me back up here. And then oop, they talk about Santander One Pay FX, the mobile app. If you guys uh, recall, this was used by Ashton Kutcher to send some money to Ellen on TV. Um, and then a snapshot of our customers. And of course, Bank of America Merrill Lynch highlighted as a, as a customer here, BMO Santander. A lot of big banks, guys. So, and then they mentioned SBI Group and a consortium of 60 plus banks. So, Ripple is making headway. Of course, American Express highlighted here. Uh, so, big things are happening. If they're working with these banks and, and central banks, of course, they're, they're going to be in the same room with the IMF. And the IMF may be pushing banks to uh, adopt Ripple's technology. And this could be the new standard and XRP involved in some way. Once again, we're speculating a bit here, because but we're basing it off of some facts. The fact that these people are talking to each other, um, and they understand what Ripple is doing. So they of, of course give a uh, overview of X Rapid, um, talking about reducing the payment friction and and so forth. Um, talking about the pre-funded, uh, you know, um, uh, relationships and and how money, you know, Nostro Vostro accounts, money is just sitting there dormant. Um, and how that can be bridged by a digital asset. And that asset is, of course, XRP, which is called out specifically here, um, giving the overview of um, here, FI exchanges fiat for XRP, 
via local exchange. FI does not ha have to hold XRP. FI stands for financial institution. XRP transferred between digital asset exchanges. XRP exchange for local fiat distributed directly to the FI's account or dispersed over local rail. Um, and then they show here the whole process. Ex this is really cool. X XRP exposure time, 90 seconds. Total transaction time, two minutes. That's big compared to three to five business days, right? Uh, this is going to change the world. It's going to change the uh, people's lives. It's going to change business and commerce. Um, and to give an example here, USD sender, Qualix, of course, uh, via Bittrex, XRP, Bitso, and, you know, the recipient gets um, their money. So, guys, big things, big things happening here. Um, and this is really... A very very interesting uh, presentation and the fact that um, these oh this this is what I want to call out before I get further regulatory and policy engagement ongoing engagement with 40 plus regulators now look at this guys Bank of England accelerator program ripple selected to inform the next generation of RTGS uh, payment infrastructure Bank of England central bank Federal Reserve oh yeah Faster payments. Ripple was selected to serve on the steering committee of this industry strategic initiative. Saudi Arabia Monetary Authority Infrastructure Innovation Partnership for Financial Institutions to Leverage Ripple for Cross-Border Payments. International Monetary Fund. IMF. Ripple was selected to serve on the IMF's high-level advisory group for, group for on fintech. So, of course, they're on the group. They're on the board and advisory group and all that. And they're presenting their solutions and they're working with the banks and the central banks, guys. It's all coming together. Uh, Ripple platform innovation. Central banks and national infrastructures can engage with Ripple to innovate with proven building blocks in distributed ledger technology. Preserve sovereign rights while transacting seamlessly reg with regional econ economies for global growth. Um, big time, guys. Big time. A call out here of digital assets. Bridge fiat currencies using digital assets, of course, XRP. And um, we know that um, it's not just Ripple, but it's also R3, guys. Uh, R3 has their own bank partnerships and so forth. Um, so they give a, a further breakdown of global payments here with XCurrent and a multi-hop feature, right, where they could start in XCurrent but then move into XRapid and so forth. So you guys know about this if you've been you know, following Ripple's uh, content and even subscribe to his channel. So this is essentially the presentation in a nutshell. What I'm going to try to do is host this on like a SlideShare account or something, just in case the IMF decides to pull it down. But it's on their website. And this is recent. I'm telling you guys, and it's clear as day even here, These the IMF isn't doesn't hang out with private companies. They, they, they don't don't share the stage with private companies just like that because that's seen as an endorsement, right? The, you know, it, it's the fact that Ripple's here with these guys and, and the fact that this presentation is on their website um, specifically from Ripple. This is a Ripple document on the IMF's website is huge, guys. So um, obviously they have videos, uh, different information about um, cryptocurrencies and talking about Bitcoin and Ethereum and so forth. Right. Because, you know, uh, Christine Lagarde even gave a presentation not too long ago about digital currencies and, and the movement towards that. And, um, you know, it's 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 I think she's laying the groundwork for what's coming. And I think Ripple is going to be a big part of that. XRP will be part of that, guys. I think it's going to be a standard that's going to be leveraged, um, you know, w with these central banks and so forth. So, guys, like I said, I'll put a link in the description. You can go download this. It's a PDF. Check it out. Um, if it stops working, I'll upload it on on like some document sharing sites and I'll put it all on my website. So, guys, big things cooking up behind the scenes. Be patient. I'm telling you, be patient. Um, in my video before, I said, you know, with Brad Gottinghouse and, and they asked me anything. A lot of the holdup is because of the regulatory uncertainty from the SEC and they're waiting for that Congress bill, Virtual Currencies Act, or whatever it's called, to go through. There's still some things to be laid out here, and I think that's what's the holdup. Even Bitcoin is being held up because of the Bitcoin ETF. Um, so be patient. This 
what Ripple is doing is on a on its next level. No other cryptocurrencies is on the on this level. Working with central banks, working with big huge banks, as you saw, Bank of America, Merrill Lynch. Come on, man, that's that's huge. So keep holding. Obviously, this is not financial or investment advice, but um, I think you if the writing's on the wall here, we're seeing the breadcrumbs, we're seeing the clues here. Big things are ahead, so keep holding. Um, if you like this video, thumbs up. Please help share it on Facebook, Twitter for people who are, you know, maybe interested in Ripple and XRP. Uh, share it with, you know, folks who want to learn more about this and want to maybe view this document. Thank you guys for your support. Thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Like I said, please help share this video. Thank you.